Hello friends, today I'm back to share with you a really fun project. I'm making advent calendars to go and this time I want to share an advent calendar which lightens up. You have to score at 1 cm and 9 cm and then you cut at 10 cm. Then you turn and score at 11.5 cm, 12.5 and cut at 24 cm. Then you cut these little edges out so this box will fold later. One I'm cutting straight and the other one I'm cutting like in an angle so it is easier to assemble um, the box later. And here's a sneak peek on how this um, box will look like when it's finished. Now you have some glitter paper with measurements of 11 cm and 7.5 and a white panel which measures 10.5 cm and 7 cm. On the white card panel I'm using chipped sapphire and broken china and created an ink blended background. I stamped my unicorn from Lawn Fawn with Memento Tuxedo Black ink and used some Copic markers to color the unicorn in. It was a pretty fast coloring as unicorns are white and there is no need for coloring a lot. This whole project took me about 45 minutes and for making a box and a light up system it was pretty fast because I never did this kind of project so it always takes me longer when I'm making it for the first time but I was really happy it worked for the f it worked as fast. I used a little heart which came in the stamp set to stamp on the butt of the unicorn. And this will be the part where it will be shining later. Now I put some holes in my um, card panel so I know where the LED will be later. And I draw it in into the glitter paper because I want to hide the thickness of um, this project because otherwise it will be about two or three uh, millimeters high and I didn't want it to be like this. So I also cut a hole in my project base and I know it is not really pretty and you could totally skip this part if it's okay for you that your projects are a little bit higher or you could otherwise buy other batteries with which aren't that thick but they are much more expensive so I don't like to use them. So all I'm going to do now is trying to hide the thickness in the half inside of this box and the other half on the outside. Now I'm so sorry I already started by taping my copper tape down and then I realized I wanted to do it like this. And, um, but you can see now what I did. I taped it from behind the thickness um, thing. I really don't know how to call it. Now I'm taping down my glitter paper on top. I thought I would make it later, but for me it didn't make sense. And it really didn't make sense. So now I'm taping my copper tape down. And on this glitter paper, this have like a plastic um, surface. You have to really press the tape down because otherwise it will peel off. And now I'm starting to make the other half to hide the thickness. And this will also be my switch on the right side. And this is why I'm making it already. So I hope it really makes sense for you. I put the battery in its place. This little uh, window we cut out before, it was the place for the battery. And now this little paper I taped down is a switch. And I'm using here my copper tape and created the other side from the circuit. And like always, I like to bend it backward and then forward to create um, good edges. And here also really 
pressing this copper tape in the, the, into the glitter paper because otherwise the circuit could peel off and then um, the LED won't shine anymore. This time I'm making a, um, a project with only one LED but I think it was the cutest ever because this little unicorn had a shining butt. And now you can see this is how it works. I'm using here a pink LED from the tropical set because I stamp my heart in pink and um, for me it makes sense. My friend I'm sending this advent calendar to she loves unicorn and pink and so it was the right thing for her. Now I just need to find out where I want to put my unicorn and I taped everything down until I realized I had to punch a hole in there to create a closing mechanism for the box because otherwise the unread calendar would fall off and I don't want it to for sure you spend so much time okay in the inside I adhered a white card panel just um, because I found it a little bit prettier and through this card panel I also punched some holes and now I'm starting to creating the box and you can see this is a really simple box normally <laughs> when I film my Chibitronics project I always have have an idea in my mind but I never tried it out before because um, for me it doesn't make sense so sometimes the videos are a little bit confusing I know it but I always try to leave it in so you always know where maybe could be mistakes because I always make mistakes or find better ways to make it and I like to share it with you because normally you make it also like this. I hope it makes sense what I tried to tell you. So I um, used some ribbon and put it through the holes and put my advent calendar in. And now later you always you only have to um, push no sorry pull on the ribbon and then the advent calendar will come out and you will see it right in a minute i used some silver ribbon to make a little bow and i used here some jingle bells because for sure it is christmas time and i like to decorate my advent calendars with some with some jingle bells or other things like this. Now I really can assemble my advent calendar and now I'm taping my unicorn down and please people don't do it like me stamp your sentiment before. I totally forgot I was like yay I want to do this project and I want to finish and then oops sentiment. But I was able to stamp and now I'm using here a little stamp that says push here from heavy doodles and i'm stamping it over the switch and i use from the lawn front set some stars to stamp in the background i used here some um white pigment ink from simon says stamp and now i'm using nouveau white glitter to create a little bit of glittery snow and now my project is all finished and you can you can see the finished result the little heart on the butt is shining you pull out the sh chocolate advent calendar and um, this is a super cute project you can do for Christmas I hope you enjoyed my project here you can find some more projects I created for Christmas and also for Chibitronics and I hope we will see us soon and um, in a few days I'm coming back with another advent calendar idea 
you can do last minute. Bye.